There we go. Let me just stretch my arms. All right, hey everyone, Cynix here, and it's time for yet another weekly stream brought to you by the wonderful people of Patreon. Um, but things might be in for some changes lately because, uh, let me pull up painter, I don't know. I was doing some warm up stuff in the background before and kind of get my brain warmed up. Um, is this working? There it is. Okay. So you can see I was just making silly little things and moving things around. Uh, but anyway, I did want to mention something, and that is, I think we'll not be doing as many YouTube live streams, and that sounds like a bad thing, uh, but I'm actually going to do other videos on a, on a weekly basis. <laughs> Let me just make sure my video's loading, first of all, because I don't see anything loading. Come on, video. You can work. Wait for it. Okay. There we go. All right, so anyway. Um, so as I was saying, I think we'll be doing less YouTube streams, but uh, fear not because we are actually gonna be doing other videos on a weekly basis. So I think it'll be a little more interesting. We'll still do, well, here, I'll just give you the rundown. So basically I'm gonna do a weekly video. The first week of every month will be monthly inspirations monthly inspiration that's that's generally how i like to start at the month get some showcase some artists showcase some art do some stuff like that i like that video series anyway um and then uh after that the next week will just be a standard either tutorial you know an edited video or a speed painting um, but something edited down not going to be live uh, so video sketchbook art tutorials something like that and uh, then the week after that is going to be Design Lab. So we'll have Design Lab once a month. So I'll actually have to finish the last Design Lab and start doing new ones again. And they will probably, well, we'll get to it when we get to it, but uh, hopefully things work out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with the stream. People in the chat are having trouble with it. I'm kind of having trouble with it. I don't know why it's so bad right now. Things real fast. Should be okay. Uh, what's the bit rate? Yeah, it's, it should be okay. I don't see any major problems with it. So I don't know if YouTube's acting weird. I don't know what's going on. Uh, so we're gonna do Design Lab. And then after that, we'll be doing a stream. So we'll do at least one YouTube stream still every month and the rest of the streams will all be on Twitch which I've been having a lot of fun with. I like to go on Twitch. I usually have Jetty Jet or uh, Costa or Sykra or other people join me and it's it's been fun. Uh, so we'll keep the craziness there and we'll try to get back to doing more uh, focused art tutorials because uh, I wanna get back to that. There's plenty of stuff I can teach you about and uh, it's a lot easier when you have things edited down. You can think about what you're gonna say, not just trying to rough everything out super fast that eye is weird looking um and i think it'll be good so we're gonna try that starting next uh, month which is coming up next week so we're gonna have all kinds of stuff going on i don't know why i made this guy's forehead so small see what i'm doing here i was like doing like a little exercise game it's like draw one face and then just keep turning it in space and why am I having so much trouble with the one that should be the dumbest? Well, whatever. I should have uh, fixed the head. Gotta make it into a mask, right? Just to fit with the theme that's going on. All right. I kind of, uh, I wish I was a, a teacher like in a school because Remember those like old SAT questions where it was like finish the pattern and it'd be like, you know, two, four, eight, you know, six, ten, whatever. And then you'd have to say which one comes next. Like think how fun it would be in art school if it was like uh, some head rotating or something and it was like, what comes next? And then you have to fill in the gap or maybe there's one missing. Cause exercises like this, just moving stuff around in space, it's uh. It's a good way to get your brain working. It's a good practice. So anyway, 
question by Grove. Do you tweet out when you're streaming on Twitch? Not always. I did do, I have done a handful of streams without tweeting first. So I don't know what to say about that. But, you know, I do try to tweet when I remember. And it's usually way better when I don't tweet it out. So we just get crazy in there. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I was doing this warm up. That's it. I got all I needed to get out of it. I can erase it now. Woo. And you guys, once again, you guys are free in the chat. Ask questions, make suggestions, talk about things you're having troubles with in art, and I will see what I can do to help. Uh, but in the meantime, I think I'm actually just going to try to make some art, like just make some, you know, art I like. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it works out. It'll be hopefully good. So personally, when I, uh, my own personal style of art, the things I like to do uh, usually involve perspective, some kind of person and perspective. Uh, so we'll see. Um, and oops, right away though, Joe Travis has a question. Talk about how to make wrinkles on a face. And that's actually a pretty good question. So I, I, I think we might actually go over that real fast. Uh, so for starters, I'll just draw a, a real simple face. I don't know, just make it super boxy and dumb. Doesn't matter that much. There you go. Those are my, my six lines for making a, for making a head. This is a normal standard head. Obviously, it comes out farthest where the cheekbones are. And then the rest is pretty, pretty boring. Just like an oval boxy shape. Uh, so anyway, I can give this guy a little ears real fast just to orientate yourself better. There you go. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, actually. There we go. Give him a neck. Why not? People like necks. And then you can draw a little nose somewhere. Usually just park it like at the bottom of the ear for all I care, but it doesn't matter too much. Everyone's got a different nose. Nose can come up. So we have some kind of simple face forming here. I always like to do this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like to draw it every time, but I like to do the nose kind of like this diamondy, like a crystal coming out of a... Ooh, what would you describe the bottom of the nose as? A, uh, I don't know, a stealth fighter or something. That's, a, that's a, I think, the dorkiest example I could have given. But it kind of looks like that, right? When you just have this shape, what what else would this shape be? It's like a, just a stealth fighter type thing. And it's shooting out like a tracking beam and it's like a diamond. It's like a ring pop coming off the end of it. Oh, but anyway. You'll, you'll have your own ideas. So we can draw a little filtrum thing, draw eyes if we want to. But uh, bottom line is we want to get into doing lines on the face. Uh, so that's kind of tricky. You kind of have to plan ahead, which I didn't do. Um, but if it's like wrinkles, I always used to have a lot of trouble trying to show someone smiling because obviously, naturally, that you see these wrinkles on a person's face. And it's hard to make like a pretty a person and you just do these wrinkles and it looks super kind of awkward. I don't know. I never thought it looked good. It's like, okay, that's kind of weird looking. I mean, you can get away with it if you're uh, if you're kind of going for like a not great looking guy. But if you're trying to draw a pretty girl, which we should have totally made this into a girl. So let me just, I can, I can still make it into a girl. The face shape doesn't matter too much. Let's just make the nose a little simpler. There you go. It's a girl now. You can tell because the, and we can curve things a little more. That's, that's the only way we make a girl. A little more curves. Maybe the jaw is a little more narrow. It doesn't fold out farther, farther, farther. We can make the neck thinner or something. You know, there's all kinds of dumb little things you can do. Okay. Make the chin a little pointier. Eh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, so doing like a smile used to be very tricky because it has wrink like that wrinkle. And 
obviously if you just draw like a simple smile like this you know once again knowing when to hide lines you don't have to show all the lines but uh, you can do like a simple smile just hint at uh, where the lip goes where the bottom of the lip is you can do a little bit of the top lip standard stuff hidden lines everywhere implying where the lines go you don't have to draw everything out super iconically like this this and this you know you can just leave it loose like that it has a little more lighting effect to it um so obviously naturally when you start out you might think okay well that's that's how we do a smile right it's a wrinkle and it's just it's not it it's not very attractive it's a little too heavy uh, so you gotta kind of figure out uh, how you're gonna how you're gonna achieve it with the least amount of lines and I think you can kind of just do a little bit like this and you can still kind of get away with it I don't like this the smile needs to be a little more extreme though um, but if, as long as you like kind of hint at there's more lines going on which is something like that maybe you just kind of hint at it like this instead of actually making lines like that i think you'll find it'll work a little better for you oops i didn't oof. that's just no good so yeah just lots of like hinting at lines but not actually drawing them tends to make your art look a little better but not always i don't know my experience with it anyway like i don't have to draw lines down here even because probably won't see, you don't have to see anything you don't have to draw lines anywhere just leave everything a little bit blank just hint out a little bit let the brain let the brain figure it out brains are very smart at knowing where lines should go Um, so you can draw like squinty eyes, obviously common. Once again, when you've got like creases in the eye, you don't have to make them like super filled in. You just draw the hints of them. Anywhere where the line is darkest, your brain will assume it gets lighter and still extends out in the direction without actually drawing the line. So like this line, you know, you might think of it in your brain like that, but if you just draw it like that, it works. So it's a lot of minimizing to make wrinkles that look attractive, I guess. So it's just lots of lots of hints at wrinkles. Like that, you can kind of break up your line and look like, oh, the nose is kind of wrinkled up a little bit if you want it to be like that. Anywhere you can hint at lines, you're probably good. Um, so you can kind of hint at crow's feet around the eye if you wanted to that makes them look older obviously we can get way more into like actual wrinkly wrinkly skin might as well so let's give them some quick eyebrows so you can just kind of keep doing the same technique and extending the wrinkles so there's wrinkles coming out here just wrinkles more wrinkles everywhere you don't have to do them all the way around, just in the corners, crevices, anywhere else. You can do like secondary wrinkles if you wanted, if it's an older person. Sprinkles, wrinkles, double wrinkles, anywhere where there's like a crease, like a chin, just double up on the line, but try to make it so there's like some uh, fluidity to it. Obviously, this looks like they have a beard right now because I didn't might have to give them an actual chin. So it helps if you know the structure of the face because we can just kind of keep uh, keep making them older by following. Like if you know where the cheekbone is, you can kind of follow that line because this the skin might sag a little bit. You can kind of just once again, though, we're not making complete lines. We're just making the hints and letting the perp letting the viewers brain kind of fill them out on their own so there we go this one can kind of come down a little bit if we want it to so we 
Let's keep making someone older. Obviously, there's lines that can follow the uh, odd brow line. So, like, if you want to have creases on the forehead, um, don't put them, obviously, like, right above their eyebrow. Give the brow some space to breathe. Give, like, the brow line, you know, it's probably like this. It's probably where the brow line is. So you can give it a little room and then start doing your lines. Do your lines up here instead. Like, once the, once the brow line has uh, kind of uh, narrowed out a bit. And you can draw more creases in here if you want. Just creases everywhere. Anywhere where the creases naturally form. So there we go. Just keep keep them coming. We'll make this person the most wrinkly person if we just keep at it for long enough. It can make their skin rank. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. What did I erase? Oh well, it's fine. Can make their skin wrinkly around there, like uh, Adam's apple. Well, is it a guy or girl? Well, you can make it a girl, but it just make the skin wrinkly down through like the throat area. It's hanging off, this skin's just hanging off. So lots of lots of flopping around. See, we could just keep making this people older. Okay. You could do some wrinkles here. Obviously the jowls sometimes catch some wrinkles. This is gonna just be a, a full on wrinkle map of a person. I'm just gonna keep wrinkling them till they're all wrinkled out. So obviously we have the cranium which would go around here once again. Do our box haircut. If you really want to make someone look old, you can add like one or two like uh, liver spot type things, you know, little little spots and things. Maybe a mole or something and you're then you're in really old territory. And once again, it's like all the muscles like the trapezes, you just kind of make them more like stringy. It's, everything's more stringy, like just string them out. And it'll look fine. Of course, if you want to make someone look old, you can also just make their ears longer too. Make their ears bigger. Ears never stop growing, so make them a little bigger. Just kind of loop them around just a little bit. Just a little bit larger. Kind of make them a little saggy. This is a happy old, happy old person. All right. Uh -huh. There we go. Keep it going. Uh, what else do we need? I feel like that's that's about all the wrinkles I can think of, to be honest. Uh, we can give this person a little bit of hair, I guess. Or it can be like a like a grandma or something, and we'll have the hair just come back. Follow those lines a little bit. We didn't really follow the hairline very well. Obviously, eyebrows also get a little crazy when you're older. There we go. Fade that back. A little more, a little more line action going on. Here it's like an old Asian lady. Let's give him a bun on the back. <laughs> Old people do have thin lips. Whoever said that was right. I should have made them thinner. Good observation, person. That was Ernesto. I don't know if I want to mess with the T 
keys or anything. I think it's fine. Ah, okay. So that was an interesting question. And we learned a little bit about wrinkles, hopefully. We make we learned how to make someone wrinkly without uh I don't know, doing too much. So it kinda worked out, right? I had fun. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. In the meantime, let's dive into something else. I will just start drawing. Hmm. Uh, maybe a back? Hmm. Tough question. trying to think of some cool poses gotta start with some weird i think i think i think of more dumb stuff if i start with weird objects like the knee right start with the knee maybe you'll come up with something that's not how you do the knee i mean it is how you do the knee but it's not how you do the curve behind the knee. I feel like I've already done a pose like this. Okay, let me try a new one. We need more uh, spatial dynamic stuff. Oh, I've drawn wrinkly butts before. You know what? Wrinkly butts are actually kind of interesting. Because, uh, okay, I'm just going to give you a quick example. Wrinkly butts usually, um, so let's say this is like a normal butt. And there we go. We got the legs or whatever come out to the side. It's real simple. Oops. I mean, it's, there we go. Just, I can't do it. Okay. So like real, real dumb looking, that's our, that's going to be our normal, but we can make it thinner. So there we go. We got like a butt, spinal cord, whatever. Actually to do a wrinkly butt, you don't even need the, all these because usually won't be that good. Kind of picture, picture in your head some like tidy whitey underwear and just make all the folds like kind of like this. Oh wait. Should it be like that? I'm trying to remember how it goes. I want to say it's just like a lot of just wrinklies like going like this, just flabby, flabby, horrible, whatever. Um, ooh, I can't, my brain's not remembering all the good stuff of how to do it. But something like that. Is this is this horrible? <laughs> okay, enough of that. A good wrinkly but will work. Sagging could be a factor, but usually it just winds up kind of disappearing. Like the butt, I, as far as I know, like old butts just kind of disappear. And it's like where there was once meat, there just is skin and it just wrinkles onto itself. But who knows? I'm sure it's not like that for all people. Okay. We didn't give the nose that many wrinkles, did we? I mean, we gave it a few wrinkles, but probably could have given it more. Oh, well. We don't have to have wrinkles on the nose, to be honest. Um...
yeah, if you want to see all that stuff on drawing, I think I've done some figure drawings of older people. I can't remember if they're on my Instagram or not, but go check out my Instagram, Cynics Design, and you might find some, find some life drawings of like older people. I have all kinds of weird psyche stuff going on. It's pretty fun to draw, to be honest. Anything, anyone that's kind of interesting in, in any way is fun to draw. So, okay, let me think, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get rid of our old lady. Sorry, you're gone forever. Much like a real old lady, she faded away. And now we're just gonna draw something else. Um. Okay, what's gonna be the pose? I I really want to make some fun art. What can we do today? Do some crazy foreshortening stuff. If we wanted to. It's kind of boring. Do that pose every time. Okay, maybe I can start with, um, what part, what part? There's so many ways to draw people. My, I'm overwhelmed. The ideas. Okay. This once again looks like it's the knee folded at us. What is with me? I am just obsessed with knees apparently. Okay, let me draw something else. It's not a fun pose either. Okay, keep thinking. How about a dancing pose? Hmm, okay. We can do this. Dancing pose. Let me think of a good dancing pose. Since someone suggested that. Trying to think of a good dance though. Actually, I might just start with like, maybe some arms? I don't know. Let's start with just something. Oops, okay, I can make this work. Okay, these can be like fingers. Nah, that was terrible. Hmm, okay, I don't like that either. Don't worry. Charles Sycred dancing with Bob Meatbag. Huh. 
<laughs> okay, dancing, dancing. I feel like this is one of those times where I should have references for dancing. All right, you know what? I'm gonna start with heads because that makes me feel better. So we'll draw a few different heads, see which one makes me wanna draw a body. It'll be fun. It's different perspectives different angles, make them really loose, just won't care too much. That one's kind of similar to what we did earlier. Let's do some that are facing different directions. Now I gotta make it more interesting than that, how about Oops. Is it silly to start with the nose? I don't, I don't know. All right, there we go. That's not working. <clears throat> oh, wait, hold on. Let me answer this question real fat. Fast? Real fat. It's a real fat question for me. Um, Power Switch says, Cynix, I've never seen you actually properly, properly build a form. You always seem to wing it. If you know what I mean. Or is this just how you sketch? Uh, that is just how I sketch. I don't know. I've never been a fan of doing the whole form thing, like Bridgman or Lumis or whatever. Um, it's not really how I learned. Obviously, I learned on my own. But I always find I get more energetic lines. Or maybe it's just a side effect of only drawing with pen, because you can't really do form building when you're just sketching with pen. So this is just how I'm used to drawing because uh, I don't really change for other, obviously with control deleting and everything. I could use form stuff if I wanted to, but I don't, because I'm stupid. I feel like uh, it'll work out in the end, hopefully. Hopefully the lines I make will just keep getting better. That's what I hope for. So everything will just keep working out. Oops. What a dumb looking face you made. Oops, okay, come on. Eh, I don't think that works that well. Okay, let me try a few different angles. We're gonna find a good one. Next question, what's your favorite sandwich? I don't know. I like a lot of sandwich. I'm like a sandwich connoisseur, so it's complicated. I made a really good sandwich uh, last week. I used two pieces of, I made two waffles, like Eggo waffles in my toaster. Used those as the bread. It was great. It had a uh, turkey on it, 
avocado mayonnaise because I'm white and bacon. What else did I have on it? Some other stuff. A little bit of a little bit of other stuff. I think avocado is the key to any good sandwich though. That's some life advice. If you don't like avocados, then you're missing out on life. God, I don't like that stupid head. Brah. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more heads. Hmm. Oops, okay. Let me change this up a bit. It's so boring. Uh, make more rounded foreheads instead of going so overly angular. It's more girly, you know, when you don't have the strong brow and you can just kind of make it one giant swooping curve versus a uh, Make it more blocky like this. This is very masculine. Whereas this is very feminine. There you all you all learned something new today about foreheads and drawing. Look at all the lines that go on when you're doing like an eye from the side. It's kind of amusing because you think about it, it's like naturally, it's like this is the opening, you know, like there's the orb, the front, like the eye was like in here. So you have like this little opening. Uh, so the first thing you got to do is like follow the, follow it back like this, you know, but then you also got to like follow the eye socket right there and the cheekbone right here. So it's like just this mess of lines going in all these directions. But it works out, kind of. Maybe, we'll see if it works out. <laughs> so many lines. Of course you can always simplify and just remove a bunch of them. Ah, uh, you know the other thing I've noticed lately is more uh, art tips, art tips and life clips. Um, like when you're doing the the top lip. Okay, let me pretend like there's a nose, whatever. Just give like, another quick example. Like there you go, you got some nose from the side. These are just tips for drawing profile views, and you got your bottom lip. You know, obviously it comes out like this. That's the top lip. You know can make it go like that. So that's like the top lip and the nose. Um, I think it's kind of fun if you do the bottom lip like a rectangle. Just make it, like think of it like a block first of all. And then before you go back inward. So give it like a little bit of angular feel. I feel like it can look good at times. And then you can once again follow the lines back around and the chin. So lots of ways to do it. But I like that. I like that kind of look. I think it works out usually. Or you can make the front lip bigger. You can give them a bit of an underbite. Still use the kind of like a rectangle though. Anyway. There you go. Life tips. There you go. Don't forget that line. That's like your neck holding muscle right there. Obviously, you need to make the bottom of the jaw very flat usually. Kind of draw this coming up a bit higher if you want. 
whole cheek area. I'm sorry, not the cheek area, the jawbone kind of come up. It can come up like that if you want it to. As long as this line's coming in flat or going down, you don't want it going up really. Flat or down. Cheek, or I mean the jaw can go up or stay straight if it's really full, like a wide jaw, boxy jaw, all that stuff. Um, what's a good haircut that I haven't done in a while? All right, you get out of here. You're too happy. Uh, the other thing about ears, which I never really mention, is that they're usually on a slant. So instead of drawing an ear like this, you can usually draw it like this instead. Usually that'll work out a little better. See? Like that, instead of like this. 100% more accurate. So once again, if you want, you can follow the hairline around. Give them no hair, that's not very fun. Let's draw the inside of the ear real fast. Just pop it around. Always follow the top two lines. And then it's kind of up to you. You can kind of make this like a little boxy shape. And this is like another shape right there. That's really all you need for an ear. You can make this follow around even. If anything, it'll connect down here somewhere at the most extreme examples. Obviously, you don't need a line here. Look at all the things we're learning today. So that line can kind of go down here if you want it to. Mohawk, backwards mullet, sideways mullet, bowl cuts. Uh-huh. If you, if you like bowl cuts with undercuts, you should go to China. Chinese. Go to Chinese. Cause I'm pretty sure every every player on the Chinese soccer team, the female soccer team, had a bowl cut. They were just like, like this is every girl on the Chinese soccer team. This is what they looked like. That's so that's them. It's the bowl cut with an undercut. It's very not exciting at all. I'm here to play soccer. Okay. Let's go for like the, what haven't we done? Female pompadour. Pompadours are cool, right? Let's make it all crazy. How about a pompadour with like a, uh... this is like so rockabilly though. It's terrible. It's like Corbin Dallas or what's his name? Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Throwing a, like a little bun. Why not? This should have all been wrapped around the lower, somewhere down here. I curved it all to in, messed it all up. Mm. 
what's wad wad wizard says what's wrong with rockability answer is everything everything's wrong with it all right glad we can get that wrapped up and taken care of Oops. It's a giant bun. She does have a little bit of a big neck, but I'm not sure if that's just because we drew her in such a stylized way. These people have kind of big necks. I mean, we can make it tinier, but I feel like I'm so used to drawing tiny necks from like just my style. Everyone has a tiny neck. That's probably not super realistic. So I'm trying to figure out what a real, I don't know. I guess I don't have to be realistic though. <laughs> Who wants to be realistic when you can give everyone tiny necks? Yeah, screw it. Screw it. We'll just do whatever looks for fun. All right. Question, make the sonic breathing noise underwater. I, I can't do it with my mouth. Oh, well. It is the favorite. It is probably the greatest sound ever made. Okay, let's draw a Cynix color that face. That's not a super exciting face though. So I don't know. I wanna draw, I wanna find something better. What's this guy doing? Mm, what can you be doing? What do I want you to be doing? Oh, you got nothing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Let me read your question. Re resu re resu. Um, uh, how do you draw shoulders arching forward? Like when you reach out with your arms? Okay. I have a follow up question. Uh, what angle? Cause I can draw from any angle. Well, I guess I'll just try. Should I draw like this guy? This guy can be reaching out. See, that wouldn't be that hard. Obviously, the main thing is that things are just kind of curving around. Get all kinds of like curves going on everywhere. Okay, actually, I'll just do it over here. Sorry, silly guy, you're gone. All right, let's see if we can do this. Um, so it's kind of tricky, right? I used to be better at drawing this. Even had references and All 
Ah, it's so bad. Okay. Screw me. We're gonna make this work. Man, this brush feels so heavy right now. Hate when I get thick lines. There we go. Okay, draw a stupid head real fast. Okay, can I make someone reaching forward, please? Please, just work. Just work for me. interesting because you probably wouldn't have oh I probably wouldn't have much shoulder blade stuff going on actually right oh that's so ugly come on brain you can handle this why did I dare this line okay hold on Doesn't seem like I should be having any trouble with this, yet I'm super bad at it. Hey, wait, I, didn't I try to drew, draw this like on stream last time and it didn't go well? Because I'm dumb. Uh, I'm so dark. What the hell am I doing? Okay. I know. Oh, okay. I know that's true. If I knew my anatomy better, I would be doing this just fine. I do know my anatomy, but I'm trying to exaggerate it too much. I think. I don't know what's wrong with me right now. I can't picture the pose in my head, which is a problem. Uh. Okay. God damn it. I hate this already. I don't really know what's wrong with me right now. I mean, it's kind of... It's just, I want it to look so much more dynamic than it's looking. It makes me sad. You've killed me with your suggestion. I hope you're happy. Because it sucks. And I am not good at it. All right, anyway, let's move on. Draw an ear and be done with it. Here, they can have a hairline too. 
Why not? High five. Very nice. I guess I could draw another arm. Doesn't matter. There you go. Its arms are coming forward. Like that. Didn't mean to make that one so long. Well, whatever. Oops. Uh, somewhere like that. All right, so we got a guy, his arms are coming forward. Hope you're happy. Ruin my day. Should give him a butt. That'll make me happier. Let's get a little butt. Uh, give him a hip bone, I guess. I don't know. Might as well. Just get everything. Get a hip bone. Get a butt, get some legs. I guess you can be like, you're ready to stop a train or something. And he's got a little tiny butt. And let me curve things around a little bit more since I decided to put his leg like that. Oh, come on. Where's my brush? Black. Okay. Oops, something like that, something like that. This leg should have been bigger or more fun. Watch cha 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 cha. There you go, you can have a little hairdo too. Why is he got like a little poopy stain? Get rid of that. All right. That's right, so a stupid pose. I feel like, uh, what do I need? Should have like a little bit of armpit, maybe. No, would I have some? Hard to figure out. Okay, maybe not, because it is pretty far forward. Do like a little bit of armpit though. A little bit of armpit goes a long way. That's what they say. Yep. Make him a little bit of ear if I could draw just tiny things. Ah, it's whatever, it's okay. Well, we made it. We did a pose. We managed to piece it together with our brain. I guess we can have a little finger sticking out here. Watch out. I 
Just give him a wrinkly butt just for fun. Some wrinkles everywhere. Nah, I won't do that. That'd be horrible, right? He's fine. Okay. I did it. Mission accomplished. It only took us an hour. No, that was fine. No, I think it's okay like that. Um, <clears throat> suggestion, draw that girl from front view. You know how you guys just talking about anime? You guys are the worst. I could try drawing this girl from front view real fast. See how it works. Should I draw it right here? I don't know if I got enough room. I don't want to run out of room. Let's try it. How bad can it go? Okay. That looks about right. She's got her pointy ears here. Kind of stick out. She's got her thin neck because we gave her a little neck. Kind of got those, uh, her lips kind of stick out a little bit. But I don't think her mouth is very big, actually. Let me see. Nah, not that big. Okay, let me think real fast. Uh, she's got a pretty small chin, actually. Okay, let me try again. Oops. Okay, that seems like her lips. You see, I gave them like kind of a boxy feel to them by making them angular from the front. Um, her nose is super pointy upward, like this. So we can just kind of do the nostrils, I think. I think that'll work. Uh, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Something like that. Eyes, normal eyes. I don't think there's anything special going on. They do kind of look kind of saggy because we put so many lines under there. Now she looks like a pig monster. Okay, get rid of that line. Mm, I do. I can't decide on the nose. Nose might be a little off. Mess with it a little bit. And it's 
pretty dumb looking. I think I should have made the eyes more like this shape. I think that suits, I think that suits it better. Let me try those again. Ah, I'm drawing super small, so it's hard to, it's hard to keep track. It's hard to get good control. Okay, whatever. Let's just, let's just pretend it worked. I guess uh, that kind of works actually. Just give me some little pupils or something. Some nonsense pupils. Doesn't matter. Once again, haircuts always think kind of boxy. This kind of haircut anyway. And we got this big old thing. So that's kind of about it. Obviously the eyes look kind of dorky looking. Let me see if I can give her some expression. Look into the side, that's a little more fitting, I think. Yeah, that feels about right. Just flesh out the uh, hairline just a little bit more. I think it kind of worked out. We can kind of draw a hint of some kind of bun in the back if we wanted. Assume it's some kind of big bun. And it kind of looks like she's, you know, you see, kind of follows the same aesthetic. Draw a little line there. What do you think? Did I, did I get it pretty close? I think it looks vaguely similar to the same girl. I could have made her chin a little boxier, maybe. Like that? Like a little box? I don't know, it's always been a tough challenge to, you know, draw a character from multiple angles, to be honest. So, anything that's kind of close is a victory.
do 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 kind of curious if I lowered the nose and mouth how it would look just slightly play around with it a little little changes okay I think that's close enough so we drew our character from the front and side amazing we're character artists now we did it we did it racism's over we did it we solved it Flip it. You you want me to flip it? See if how bad it is. We could do that. Oh, look at how twisted I made her face. All my wiggling around. Guess I could sort out her chin a little bit. Everything's a little crooked. Oh wow. I guess I would have to just bounce the whole thing out. Why was I drawing at such an angle? That's the question. Didn't even notice. Oh well. All right. Draw a Q. Thanks, Rusty. There you go. This one's for you, Rusty. Yeah, he is pushing. He's he's pushing everything away. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, we don't need any more lines on him. Suggestion ghostwriter? What does that even mean? It's not even a full sentence. All right, let's think for a moment. What do I want to draw? What do I want to draw? Mm -hmm. uh, uh. I wonder if I could do a robot real fast. I need to draw more robots. Just robots everywhere. Start with any basic mechanical shape. Just add little legs and things. Hmm. 
That one's no good. I am pretty specious against rockabillies. I mean, I'm really happy that, uh, you know, we legalized gay marriage and everything here in America, but let's just hope it doesn't lead to down a slippery slope where we allow rockabilly people to get married, because that's not a world I want to live in. It's my only worry. Hmm, let's see. What would be a fun robot? Do I think 17 is too old? Haven't you heard the amazing story of Cenex the artist? I didn't start until I was 20. Or was it 19? 1920. Somewhere in that roughly range. So no. 17 is perfectly acceptable. Uh, hmm. Okay. I mean, if you're, don't get me wrong, if you're 21, you're too old. Just don't ever try to start drawing. 20, I don't want anyone like up shining me or anything 20 is the cutoff everyone knows that that's just common sense if you're, if you're not drawn when you're 20 then you'll never be anything in life oh god okay let's draw a what should I make? Let's use the old thick and thin pen. Remember when I used to only use this in every video? Remember the good old days? It's thick and thin everywhere. Now it's all impasto brush and blah 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 pastels and back in the old days we had a thick and thin pen and we liked it.
Let's zoom in. There we go. Now we can get some nice, nice butt action going. Get some design stuff going. Don't have to look at rockabilly people. The stream's gonna get a lot better now. is asking how do you guys get out of art blocks art blocks don't happen as often when you're when you've been drawn enough but I don't know the trick is kind of just to do reference stuff I mean there's so much to practice how can you ever have an art block it's like you can just do poses you can go to figure drawing you can do all kinds of stuff I like this I don't think I do but I'll keep with it see where it goes oops I mean I do that ah okay Does cynics have a job? What are you, my mom? Quit asking. Of course I have a job. I have lots of jobs. I have hundreds of jobs. Keep messing with it. Nope, don't like it. Hmm. 
you know what's great about this tool is that you can just kind of noodle around forever <laughs> like you can just keep messing around and eventually you'll just find something you kind of like it's really weird this is what i used to do just industrial designing stuff just keep just doodling around in nonsense and eventually you start finding all these interesting shapes that you kind of like How old is Psychra? Psychra's older than me, I think. Damn it, now I don't remember. I think he is. Screw Psychra. That guy's so old. Right? My right guy is what an old guy. Old people suck. these legs super close and now I hate them. I guess it'll work. Okay. Okay, this parts all make sense, I believe. Right. 
going around finding some forms. Sorry, I'm getting super quiet because I'm just like having fun. Too much fun for you guys. That's a good shape, I think. Okay. better like that. Um, Cynics doesn't post on Instagram that often. I posted there twice today. I don't know what you're talking about. I would post more, but you know, I only go to figure drawing once a week. So I only got stuff to post once a week. I need to paint more though. Obviously Instagram is just for my traditional painting works. I like how that works out. It's the only place where I post all my traditional drawings and paintings. So it's kind of a fun thing. That's uh, not in a very good shape, actually. Hmm, shape language. Shapes. Okay, keep thinking. Let's see, what can I do to this thing? How can I make this far more interesting than it is? Don't really like the silhouette. Don't even know what it can be yet. What do I keep?
mean to do that. That kind of works. Make it shoot lasers and stuff. We can do that. What a terrible shadow. Okay, here we go. What else can I add to this dumb thing? Some color. Not that color. Let's see what would be fun. Some green is kind of cool, right?
There we go. Hmm, which good, good pattern. Eh, it's okay. This is half the fun is making these dumb patterns on your mechs. Okay, there we go. This needs a better shape. Ah, that's no good either. I think I can put the lens back. Um, let's see, what do I need? to break this tangent somehow. Okay, now we just need to add some dumb effects. Like, um, let's see, what's a good one? This one? Oh, wrong color. Yeah. 
Hmm. Huh. I like it. Not really. No, still doesn't feel right. Oh well, I can't quite figure out how to make it look good, but it's fine. you well that's so uh, what am I doing I'm barely talking Look at how tiny our little mech is over here. It's so tiny. It's just a baby. It's just a baby mech. It's just not doing anything. Not harming anyone. Just hanging out. Okay. Obviously, I'm tired. Because I've stopped talking as much. That's always the clear sign. So we had a bunch of quiet time to reflect on our mistakes during this last 30 minutes. Um, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. I hate the front of this, this whole thing, though. It's no good. It's no bueno. It needs to all be messed with. Some way. Yeah, I'm not sure how, though. Well... It's not really important right now. So that's gonna be it for this stream. And like I said, no more streams. You guys suck. I'm gonna be doing monthly inspirations next week video sketchbook after that or a tutorial never know after that we're gonna start design lab up and then uh then you'll get to see a stream but if you're desperate for streams just follow the twitch channel twitch tv cenix design and you know we'll make it work out it'll be fun do i do animations yes kind of not well but i do i have fun with animations I'm sure I'll do more in the future. More silly animations. So that's going to do it. I'm going to get sleeping, resting, something. And I will talk to you guys all later. So thanks for watching. Go away, Rockabilly. Pew, pew, pew. Laser beams. Oh. What's going on? Okay. That's gonna do it. Bye everyone. Have a good week. Wind weekend.